Here are the top five stories you need to know about. Breaking news, firefighters are at the scene of an early morning house fire that damaged two homes and several vehicles on Canterbury Circle in Chico, just off East First Avenue. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma joins us live from that scene. Diego, what have you learned about that fire? Kelly, the fire started in this garage area just before 5 a.m. Now, crews got the fire knocked down, but three vehicles were burned. Uh, you can see two of them, uh, one being an RV, one being a Chevrolet. Um, and crews stopped the fire from getting into the inside, but there was a lot of roof and outside damage. Now, it did spread to the roof of a second home, but again, crews stopped from getting any inside damage. Chico Fire says everybody got out of the house safe. Crews are crew right now hosing down the hot spots and just doing normal overhaul to make sure it is safe. Now, we don't know how the fire started, but again, it did start in this carport area. Back to you, Kelly. Chico State's back in session today with classes starting. Low enrollment has been a problem in recent years, but a Chico State rep said over the last two years, more students are coming to the university. In 2022, the university saw record low enrollment at about 12,800 students that fall. In 2023, it was better, 14,000 students in the fall. A public relations manager, Andrew Staples, said they expect to have even higher numbers this year. In Butte County, officials are working to confirm if a body found in the Feather River over the weekend is that of a man who went missing in the water a week ago. Julio Gutierrez went missing back on August 18th when his vehicle went into the Thermalito after bay. The Butte County Sheriff's Office told Action News Now they're working with the family trying to match DNA to confirm whether it's him. New this morning, the Tehama County Sheriff's Office arrested this man who they say had stolen guns and tried to run from police. Officials say Christopher Hensley also had warrants for his arrest. They say Ashley Purcell tried hiding him. She was also sent to jail. They were arrested Saturday. A man who led police on a high-speed chase and crashed into a police car is sentenced to more than six and a half years in prison in Shasta County. Last August, Thomas Henderson sped away from police on Keswick Dam Road in Shasta County as they tried to pull him over. He drove down a road and hit a tree, put the truck in reverse, and rammed into a police vehicle. After that, he sped away, hit another tree. He and his passenger ran from the truck.